Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today we're gonna to be talking about God Made Life Science. This is from Generations, and Generations just happens to be my favorite curriculum company. I will have the links to everything down below. I know a lot of you haven't used all of the subjects yet, so I thought this would be a good way to kind of introduce you to the science. We've done a lot of uh, reviews on the Bible and the history and some of the character building things, but this is the first science I will be reviewing for you. So really excited to get into this one. So let's talk about the basics of this course first. God Made Life Science is a introductory biology class and this is for middle school. So this is for grades six through eight. You're gonna have two books. You're gonna have the textbook, which is small but meaty here. And then you have a teacher slash student workbook, your schedule, your worksheets, your tests, all of that is going to be in here. The answer key is also in here for all of the worksheets. Now I know with science there's all kinds of questions and hopefully I will be able to answer at least most of them that you would have in this short little video here. So after we finished our Apologia Science, my son wanted to start this one and we went ahead and just kind of jumped into it. I wasn't really sure what we were gonna do because it is the tail end of the year right now. We only have like a month left of school. So I really took this kind of easy come, easy go. But the more we use it, the more we both like it. And it is really, as far as it goes as a science class, the book seems small but there's a lot of information in here. This is not one of those courses where you can just fly through it because you will miss so much. The actual book is in color and I will put up some screenshots of what the book looks like inside. If you go to the link I have listed down below, right underneath where the picture of the textbook and workbook is, there is a little view button and you can see inside of the textbook and inside of the workbook and it's going to give you a much clearer picture than I could just using my camera. So I will show you some video of that so you can get a good idea of what this actually looks like. The schedule in here for a one year course has you doing science three days a week. Now this is a meaty course. It looks small. I know it looks small. I underestimated this course when I picked up these books. I thought it was going to be much easier than it was. It is not. It is definitely a middle school course, which means also that the language in the textbook is much more mature. This is not a textbook that I could just skim and get the gist of it. I really have to sit down before our lessons on the weekends and just really focus and concentrate on what I'm reading because I will inevitably miss a ton of things if I'm only half paying attention. So the language in here is much more mature than the Apologia Elementary books that we just finished. So my son is going into seventh grade and Apologia has their elementary as K through six. So he is just now closing the chapter on the Apologia Elementary. So the Apologia Elementary books, the language in there is a little bit more immature because you have K through six involved in here. This is like the next step up. This is definitely middle school. I think anyone under grade six is going to have a really hard time keeping up with this book. So if we're talking about tagalongs here, if we have a younger brother or sister, this one's going to be really difficult if you have one under grade six. The language in here I think is just a little bit too mature for that age group. So in just the first couple of chapters, we are in chapter three right now, we have done everything from an introduction to life science to cells to animal reproduction and everything, don't worry, is tame for the grade level that it works with. So I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying here. You're not gonna have any worries in here. All I will tell you to do is read ahead. This is not one that you can really skim, just read it. it just to make sure that this is something you want your kids reading 
and I say that, you know, that's kind of a disclaimer with everything, of course, you know, but we are talking about life science here. So most days they're going to be reading or they're going to be answering questions. And then at the end of the chapter, there are experiments. So if you're wondering, are there experiments involved? Yes. But the one thing with the experiments in this one is there's not as many as there are in Apologia, which for me at the end of the year, I really appreciate that, to be honest. I'm kind of experimented out at this point and I need a break from all the experiments. So there are experiments and the experiments are in this book and they are typically at the end of the chapter from what, at least from the couple of chapters that we are doing now, full disclosure, I have not used the whole book, so just, Keep that in mind while you're watching this video. I have not used the entire book, but I will try to answer questions as much as I can with what we have read. So the experiments are not nearly as heavy and they're not nearly as many as there, as there are in Apologia. In Apologia, it seems like every, they have these things called triads in the K through six books and it's like every page there's a triad. And sometimes there's like three of them on one page and it just gets really overwhelming and sometimes we just skip it because my brain, my mama brain just sometimes cannot handle three triads at a time. I love Apologia. I really do. I absolutely love Apologia. But this has been just a nice change of pace at the end of the year for us too. Now, if I did not have Apologia, we would be doing this one the entire year next year, hands down. I wanted to get my son's opinion on it before the end of the year because I wanted to be able to give you guys his opinion on it. Now, he is a little bit advanced as far as learners go. He is going into grade seven. He just finished grade six right now. He really, really enjoys this class. He loves the more mature language. He likes the more difficult questions. He's really enjoying it so far. So we're definitely going to go through to the end of the year with this book just because he is enjoying it so much. And he seems to be devouring it. And he's read so much more than I asked him to just because he wants to keep going with it. So this is a Christian science curriculum, which means they will talk probably about evolution, but it's going to be from a Christian worldview. So that is also something to consider depending on whatever your worldview is. Ours is we have the traditional Genesis view of creation and that's what's in these books and which is one of the reasons why I love them and Apologia because I don't have to worry about worldview evolution type things where we still learn about evolution but it's from a Christian viewpoint. So as far as the assignments you're going to have everything from filling out tables like this to matching vocabulary and answering questions. There are tests in here, so they will be tested, which is something that my son has not been used to. He has not been getting science tests because he's still in that K through six in Apologia, so science tests are new to him, but he actually likes being tested, so it's not really a big deal for him. And I think he's kind of excited to have the, the extra challenge. There are vocabulary words at the beginning and everything is kind of split into sections. So each chapter will be in like a section one, section two, section three type of thing. And they're going to read, then they're going to do the section one um, worksheets, which will be like vocabulary and answering questions, maybe filling out a table, that type of thing. And then they'll do the same thing for section two and three. And then at the end of the chapter, they will be doing other things like the experiments and other things that they have at the end of the chapter. So just for an overview of some of the things that they'll be learning in this book. They have first, what is true? That's like their inter the introductory part of this course. And then what is life? God loves reproduction, micro microscopic organisms, plants, food, animals, God made man, God sustains human life, God restores and reproduces life, and then the end notes and credits and things like that. There are 10 chapters to this entire book and they have 35 weeks in the schedule. So this will definitely fill out your entire year, even if your year is a little bit longer like ours, because we do a little bit more breaks and things like that in between. So sometimes it feels like our year is is a little long, but that's okay because this one has 35 weeks and you're only gonna be doing science two to three times a week in this schedule, so it's not too overwhelming. Now, one of the things that I love about Generations is they always have really cool images inside of their books. 
I'm just kind of flipping through here so you can kind of see some of the things that they have. They have everything from really cool tables to um, pictures up close through a microscope, all kinds of just really neat things in here. And I find that my son is constantly like flipping through this book to look at the pictures and things like that. And he's reading ahead in it. He really likes science. Now at the end of the chapter, and I'm kind of just turning there so you can get a good idea of what I'm talking about. They have different sections. So at the end of the chapter, they have a pray section of different things to pray for. They have different hymns for singing, and then they have different activities to do. And they have, so in this chapter that I turned to, this is chapter eight, there are four different activities that you could pick from. And then they even have different videos that are linked through their website with specific URLs that you can go and watch there. So you, there are different multimedia things that you can use. So this book goes into everything from diseases and anatomy and plants and animals. This is just a really good overall science program for middle schoolers. I think you guys are gonna really like this one. My son has really been enjoying this one. And he's not hard to please, but he definitely has like a specific taste when it comes to different things. And anatomy has been one of the subjects he's really wanted to learn about here over the last couple of years. So this one, I was, I really had a good feeling about it. So a couple of notes that he told me that he really liked about it for this video was he really liked the more mature language and he loves all of the facts that are inside of the book. So my kid is definitely a fact lover. So my son loves all of these little facts sprinkled throughout the text and like one that we read about rabbits in today's reading about how many rabbits can be reproduced from one set of, of, of rabbits themselves and the number was so astronomically high he thought that was the coolest thing ever and he's one of those kids he will remember that for years and he'll tell everybody because he thinks it's cool so there are all kinds of just really cool facts within the reading that make it really, really interesting. And the kids just keep want to reading it. So I, I love how Generations has these writers that are really gifted in the area of keeping kids attention. I feel like they're really good at that. So this one I feel is a great program. This is the first science program that I have picked up of theirs and I'm really glad I bought it. This was definitely worth the price the books seem small they really do seem skinny but these are very meaty books definitely look into this one if you have a middle schooler i think this is going to be a great one and this book does cover grades six through eight so if you have kids in that range they can tag along and you could just buy one book and multiple workbooks i think that would be just fine just to have one textbook and just kind of pass it around so you know, you might be able to save a buck that way. I know I've definitely done it that way in the past. <laughs> so this is definitely one of those subjects you can do as a table subject because it does cover multiple grades. So you have grades six, seven, and eight. So there's three grades in there that it can span. Now, my hope is that Generations keeps going with the science and hopefully we'll pick up more science for the older grades. We'll have to wait and see. I haven't seen any science programs for the higher grades yet, but I feel like Generations is really starting to pick up steam and they're putting out and producing more books. So hopefully it will be available in the future for us moms who have older kids. If you have specific questions about this book, I will do my best to answer. But again, I've only used chapters one through three so far. So I will do my best to answer you down in the comments. If not, I will, um, shoot you over the email address for the contact information for the company and they're really good at answering questions and helping parents when it comes to this stuff so if you have questions just remember that drop them down below i will do my best to direct you i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always happy homeschooling